Okay. Eight years. This is eight years later. We've torn the motor down. It uh, hasn't actually gone anywhere for the last two years. If you can see, she's looking pretty kind of crusty on the outside. Believe it or not, this thing, uh, that's another tank. The tank was shitty because I haven't used it for two years. Tank was rusty. Not badly. A little bit on the inside because it was dry. But, uh, I, I put this tank on it and um, checked the float bowl. The float bowl had little bit of gum on the bottom otherwise I just kind of poked the jet only because of the gum and uh, just washed out the bowl a little bit and um, she fired straight up running great even though it looks like that I know you hear a lot of complaints about parts for these things but uh, you pretty much don't need to change anything on them and uh, anyone who takes this car be off one of these first First edition or so with the ports. This has been ported as you can see. It's only got a. Uh, I was aiming for 150 open duration on the exhaust, but it's about 153 or so. I wouldn't recommend any more. If you port one of these to get a top end, you're not going to get it because it's because of that. It's just not a top end. There's no way it's going to flow enough to give you any power up top to bother trying to get top end out of it. Some of the later ones, there's a new one that's got a huge side port here, but it's so big across here that the ring, because what they don't grind when they tell you about uh, porting things and going wide is the ring ends. You've got to support the ring ends with the, you've got to support the ring ends with the, with the barrel, but the ring ends can't end near a um, port, so but uh, like I said, the, I think the transfers are about 21 degrees behind the, the exhaust port. <clears throat> and that is, believe it or not, that is, um, for eight years, pretty friggin' good. And the, the, the piston, you can see, see the marks on the... I'm only just wearing me rings in. This still has hone marks. I run 25 to 1 oil. And um, I was a state champion at uh, two stroke. So build my own bikes and race my own parts. That pipe is actually a tuned 34 inch from mean to um, face of the cylinder. Mean to the face of the cylinder, which is down here. Just down in that bit of the pipe. Halfway, roughly, is it you mean? And uh, that's 34 inch, which basically gives me peak power at seven and a half. Which you aim it for higher than that, you're a goose. And uh, because it just won't, you know, you, you, anything you take away from your bottom end, you go going above 150 degrees on these first, uh, you know, with an exhaust port opening, you're a git because you just won't breathe good enough to get a top end. You're taking away your torque, and you're not going to get a top end. And uh, that has been ported, but uh, you got to remember that that inside port there, inside port, you don't want to be bigger than your exhaust. You can't be bigger than this, or what's happening is by the time your uh, your, your pulse comes back and you're trying to shut the door, so your 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 um or your fuel and air mixture doesn't just get pushed out the exhaust then it's not going to do it. See, the more you spread that, the more low pressure you're going to get. You want the highest pressure right here. So that's got to be the smallest part of the whole pipe system is your um, your port. So people widening them and doing that, they just wrecking their... Um, and the other thing is, you know, you, you've got to have bottom end compression to be able to burst. The whole trick of a two-stroke is burst pressure. So don't go opening up the bottom end and channeling and drilling and driving big-ass fucking grooves everywhere because all you're doing is lowering your compression. When your exhaust is rushing out a little hole, it's still a lot of pressure in there. And you need good bottom end pressure to compensate, help push your exhaust out. So, you know, I mean, um, the thing is, if, if, if that's 180 degree open port timing, then if this was 100, 100 cc, 180 degree open port timing is you're only capturing 50 cc. So if there's no exhaust on the bike, it is 50 cc, it is 50 cc with 100, 
100 swept volume but only 50 cc captured so the trick is to not let most of it out if you want to keep your torque you know and then the thing is if you want to go hard up top you first you need a cylinder that will breathe that well and then you need uh, a pipe and the higher you go the smaller your bike engine gets and and the harder it is to stop shut the gate on it i know everyone thinks uh, the pulse goes out and you push it back but really just holding your initial um, volume in the cylinder is your main aim just stopping it from getting out with a pulse and the bigger you go it's harder to get so if you can get a broad range pipe but that's going to give you a shit pulse or you can get a, a, a high intensity pulse pipe which is going to be in a short rib range so if you got it to do 70 80 k and your peak power was up that high you're going to have no bottom end you're going to be pedaling your bike everywhere until you hit 50 60 k and then you might get going and until you change your gearing if you short your gearing you're screaming your engine all the time this is eight years old and and actually the ball the ball and the piston are perfect well i've still got home marks maybe you can see them in there so i can't remember what exactly the port i'm sure it's only about 21 degrees uh, down from the exhaust which is 153 i was aiming 150 you don't need any more than that because um it won't breathe any good better than that to give you a top end anyway so that all that needs, a bit of a spray WD and uh, just clean that gasket up, slap it all back on and uh, a bit of a spray in there. This thing powers, this thing has so much torque. I've got a 36 inch rear sprocket with a 28 inch wheel and it'll pull me up just about any hill. I haven't found a hill that it actually won't friggin haul me up. It's got so much torque and I don't recommend porting. Well, well, sideways port a little bit, you know, I, I did go up in the volume on that one, on the, on the exhaust port, but try not to too much, you've got to, you know, keep your compression, you want your pipe to work, that actually, even though it looks like junk, believe it or not, so that's thinner, fatter, 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 fat, reflection here, and, and the outlet's here, which just runs down into the muffler, a lot of guys got pipes and don't understand, that's a pipe, this is a muffler, you still need a muffler on your bike, pipe, no matter what you got, whether you got one of these or just straight pipe, you still want to put a muffler on it, that's what's going to keep your neighbours happy, the muffler. You know, if you're riding around with a ring, ring dinging in your ears, good luck. But anyway, that's it, eight years, eight years, still unbelievably, looks shit on the outside, but you know, still runs like a dream, still greasy where it matters, this is actually lithium grease, all this shitty looking stuff. All my cables get greased before I've it's been sitting in the rain and, you know, it still runs sweet. So you don't need anything extra. The right pipe is all you need, especially the new ones. There's a new one out. It's got a bridge down the middle here. That's all open. There's one big hole open. Don't get that one. And there's another one, the bridge up the centre, which is nice. I wouldn't even touch the cylinder. Just find a pipe. And the thing is, one slight change in that makes your pipe out. And even though you're going to get a nice pipe, you buy a good pipe with a nice length header, You get, look, this is 34 inch from here to the cylinder. You know, that's seven and a half. You've you got to work it out and you've got to organise your pipe. No pipe's going to like fit straight on a bike unless someone's tuned it for it. So whatever your buy engine is, whatever that is, uh, how you can tell is where your band kind of picks up. If your band's picking up high, your pipe's a bit short, you could lengthen it a little bit here. And uh, if your band's cutting in too low and you've got no top end and she's full stroking at a low revs, then you're probably a bit long. And uh, but if you if you look up some uh, uh, diagram things how to how to tune a pipe, you can find all that on eBay. So, but anyway, that's about it. Righto.